even though there's a bunch of different water sensors available for HomeKit, to the best of my knowledge, there is no water shelf valves available for HomeKit. And it's something I've wanted for a very long time. So today I'm gonna to show you how I set that up with the help of Hoobs and SmartThings. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. Friends, if this is your first time here, my name is Eric. If you're into smart homes, home automation, and especially HomeKit, you're definitely in the right place. Today's video is a part of my Hoob series where I'm bringing non-native HomeKit products into my HomeKit home. If you've never heard of Hoobs before, it is simply a bridge that allows you to bring over some of your favorite accessories into your favorite ecosystem. For full disclosure, Hoobs did send this to me and I purchased the SmartThings hub and also the water shelf valve with my own money. Actually, I'm one of the original backers of SmartThings back, I don't know, 2014, 2015, way before Samsung was even in the picture. I was actually able to meet the original owner and the entire team and it was a great product back then and it's a okay product today even though Samsung does own smart things <laughs> But my personal preference is HomeKit. I do think it is the best ecosystem and best controller out there. Now you might be asking me why did I pick the EcoNet Bulldog over something that is a little bit cheaper and more well known. Well, actually I did try the more well known brand which is Dome. And even though it is cheaper, it's about $100 cheaper, it didn't work for me. It just was not strong enough to pull my lever all the way shut. And and it's actually one of the biggest complaints on Amazon about the dome shut off valve is that it doesn't have enough torque. So if you do have a ball valve that might be a little bit older or a little bit bigger, that dome version won't work for you either. Another big difference between the Bulldog and the dome shut off valves is that the Bulldog connects directly or mounts on to the ball valve, where the dome actually connects or mounts above the ball valve onto the piping. Even though there was no reviews of this happening, I do see how the dome shell valve can put pressure onto the joint between the ball valve and the pipe, um, where the, the bulldog is actually mounted to the ball valve, where it doesn't put any pressure onto that joint. And since it did take so much torque to turn off my ball valve, I did feel more comfortable with it mounted to the ball valve rather to the pipe. Even though the Bulldog has a lot of torque, it is not the fastest thing. It actually took about 15 to 20 seconds to fully shut off the valve, where the dome was definitely a little bit faster, but didn't have enough torque to fully shut off the valve. Um, so in my opinion, I traded torque for time, and it is well worth it in my opinion. Now when it came to installation, it's actually quite easy. It is a retrofit. You don't need a plumber. You're not gonna be breaking any pipes or anything like this. This just fits right over your ball valve. It also comes with two different mounts, one for smaller ball valves and one for larger ball valves. Actually, customer support reached out to me before they shipped it out and asked me to send a photo of my valve to them. I actually knew what size it was, but they, it was really nice to deal with them. They asked um, a couple questions about my ball valve just to make sure they sent the right mount. And dealing with their customer service was a pleasure. It also comes with the control module and 12 volt AC adapter and one single wire leak sensor that you can plug into the control module. Like I mentioned, I will be using SmartThings. This does use a Z-Wave to communicate with SmartThings. It's not Wi-Fi, it's not Zigbee, it's only Z-Wave. Hoobs does not have Z-Wave and your Apple HomeKit Hub also does not have Z-Wave. So we'll be bridging this through Hoobs into SmartThings and then to the shelf valve. Ideally, that's not the best situation where you have multiple bridges, but I can tell you this does work quite well. It actually took me about 25 to 30 minutes to set this up through smart things and through hoops. Um, even that is quite easy. There are instructions on the hoops website that is step by step. I'm not going to go into details here it's simply because the instructions are quite detailed, uh, but there are a lot of different steps that you do have to go through. 
You just need to follow those steps and you'll have no problem whatsoever. Once SmartThings is set up with Hoobs, you want to go back into SmartThings and go ahead and set up your shelf valve with SmartThings. Just go ahead and add the accessory. It'll walk you through all the details. It actually took me maybe two minutes. You just want to triple tap on the module on the shelf valve and it'll automatically connect to SmartThings. Once you do that, then you want to go back into SmartThings, go into your Smart Apps, go into Homebridge, and expose this to your Homebridge. Once you check that off and expose this to Homebridge, this will automatically come over to HomeKit through Hoobs. And then the only thing left to do is to automate in HomeKit. If any of your HomeKit water sensors get triggered, you want to shut off that water valve. You can also come up with a shortcut that will flash some red lights around the house or possibly even set off a siren on your HomePod. You can use any HomeKit water sensor that you want to in this automation. And if you have other water sensors that maybe work with smart things, you can also use that to turn off this shell valve. There are cheap water sensors like their Coraline that cost less than $20, which I got a bunch of these around the house. There are some more expensive ones like the Eve Opera Guard, which are very cool. Not only does it plug directly into the wall so you don't have to worry about batteries, but it also has a built-in light and siren and a really cool three foot sensing wire that can detect water anywhere along that wire. I've actually wanted this accessory for a very long time. I've been watching Dome for the longest time, hoping that it would eventually support HomeKit, but it I just knew it would never will. Um, so after learning about Hoobs last week and using smart things for a while now, I knew this would work and I'm quite happy I picked this up. Um, you might be asking me, you know about pricing where if you add this all up you're looking at what 170 for hoops you're looking at 65 to 70 for smart things and another 90 um, hundred dollars to two hundred dollars for a water shove valve and that's a lot of money to spend on something that one not going to use that often and two it doesn't have a wow factor it's not like you're going to invite bob over and be like hey bob check out my new smart home toy what does it do it just shuts off the water but just like car insurance and home insurance you hate paying that bill every single month but if you ever have to use it and you are glad that you have it and it will save you thousands of dollars in the long run so I hope you can see how easy and useful this is for your home kit home and see how it can save you money if you ever have a leak. If you did find this video useful, make sure you smash that like button down below. It lets me know that you like stuff like this. Also, if you're brand new here and you're in the home kit and you want to see non-native home kit products come into home kit, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you get updates when I put out new videos. If you guys want to see the next video in my hoobs series, Series. Check that out right there, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. I'm out. No, nothing can break me.